she's a sweet little buddy and a girl just cage. She knows her name but she don't know her age. She don't have a worry and that is that she's safe in there from this old pretty cat. Thank you, baby burbs for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling bad. I was feeling bad that only you have a raid song, so so we're slowly putting it together. The raid song, like like look at raid songs. Hi, love bugs. Thank you for all the gifted memberships. Thank you for all the gifted memberships. Much appreciated from me. Um, yeah, nice to see all of you today. L O V E, we love Leah. Leah, Leah. La 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 la. Leah. <laughs> raid song repertoire. Raid song repertoire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, love loves. Uh, I just came home today. I just came home today. Um, well, I was like briefly. I was here briefly Monday and, and briefly for a bit yesterday, but I haven't really been home. Um, I came home. And my whole room smells like pepperoni sticks, in case you were wondering. Uh, I really wish I had more interesting anecdotes to open this stream with, or ones that made me seem more san sanitary. Um, but I've been very hyper-focused on this since coming home. Disclaimer, uh, I do not... I checked, I do not currently have pepperoni sticks, nor can I find any hidden leftover pepperoni sticks anywhere in my room so it's probably not my pepperoni sticks unless it's been sitting there for like six months or something uh or unless i was sleep eating but then for me to be sleep eating in my room i would have had to walk like and i would walk 500 miles. i would have, have had to walk like a very very far distance to one return to my home and two receive pepperoni sticks So yeah, yeah, that's my pepperoni stick rant. It's over for me. Hi, little hi. RB Grizzly, thank you for the super chat. Did you fulfill the hag pact? Which hag pact? I don't know what you're talking about, silly. Nothing at all. The great phase pepperoni stick mystery. Ooh. Do you even like pizza, Dizzy? Minimally. I think I like pizza much less than the average person. What do you guys get on your pizza? Um, this is a very uncool answer. Like, I'm exposing exactly how old I am. My preferred pizza slice is a vegetarian. <laughs> like, I'll, I eat meat. I'm a big meat eater, but I have my meat on the side and I'll get a veggie, yeah, veggie lovers. Uh, same as Rabu Bagu. Same as Rabu Bagu. I do a plain pizza. Pepperoni, sausage, green peppers. What the fuck? Isn't that weird? Is that weird that I like? Veggie pizza, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't think it tastes good. I would rather have vegetables on a pizza than vegetables off of a pizza. Also, um, Alexis, thank you, my tummy. Well, I haven't really eaten anything since noon. It's noon my time. But it feels a lot better here. Here for the adequate bare minimum stream, you're killing it. Uh, am I achieving the bare minimum yet, guys? Am I achieving the bare minimum? Will you guys reward me for my bare minimum effort today? <laughs> Wait, am I echoing? Give me one second. There is a tab open somewhere. Okay, got it. Nice, nice, bare minimum. I love how there's more tech issues on my side than on the side that you guys hear. As a seeker, thank you for not rewarding me. What? You know what? You don't deserve a thank you for that. Yeah. You know what? Instead of thanking you, I'm just gonna start stream. How about that? Heh 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 heh. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> See? See? Red Shipley awarded me for doing adequately. 
Sage awarded me for doing adequately. Dave at CA6 went as far as to gift me five memberships for doing adequately. Yeah, yeah, look, minimum super for a minimum effort. Yeah, how about them apples? How about them apples? See, you get degrees. This is true. This is true. I would never know if my doctor was barely passing med school unless he told me that he was barely passing med school. In which case, I think there's a bigger issue than like getting a C. I think you're a little like people stupid. Can I say people stupid? I feel like people stupid is the politically correct term for this. If you're going out of your way to tell patients that you got a C average in med school. John Arbuckle, thank you for the bare minimum award. Uh, Boer, thank you for the $10. Did you get my boxes packed last night? Huh? 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 Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Bolivo Nemo, thank you for $2. Minimum cash for minimum content. Egg, hey, ching, ka ching. Choo choo. <laughs> so hi again, Leah. What, question marks about what? Okay, Leah, first of all, neither of us can make it through either of our streams without sending question marks, so you have no ground to stand on. Pragmisha, thank you for $2. Has Fishman banned you from warehouse? Uh, what? <laughs> that stream? I'll pack how I want. I'll pack however I want. A Dizzy can't do any wrong, and if Dizzy does something wrong, it's not that wrong. So they were probably just missing like a sticker or something. Yeah. <laughs> Sutra, thank you for a dollar. Mm. How is it that none of you managed to pack the boxes correctly? It's cause the boxes changed. The boxes changed. <laughs> I don't know if I should say. I don't know if I should say or if I should leave it to Sheena or Lumi. Alright, Big Grizzly, thank you for $2. Did the fish make you repack the boxes? He might. He might next week. I don't know. Am I off tomorrow? What's my schedule like this week? I created that schedule very, very quickly. Yeah, I'm technically off tomorrow. He might make me do it tomorrow. Uh, so we'll see about that. Silver Spire, thank you for $5. Good to see you all survive the fish's wrath last night. Hopefully you convince him to host Faves Weekly like he... He was supposed to four months ago. Dude, we barricaded the door! <laughs> we barricaded the door! Magdalena, so Rex, thank you for your $2. You're stupid, here's the $2. I have 198 left now. Wow! A whole 198! You cleared? What do you mean, Dizzy? I mean what I said. We barricaded the door. We did what we had to for survival! What else is there to explain? In times of war, in times of war and of rage, you do what you must to survive. There is no pride. There is no honor of knights. This is war. Yeah, no boys allowed. Hee 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 hee. We put up a cooties barrier. We put up a cooties barrier so he can touch us. Last night's stream was very cute, Dizzy, thank you. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. I'm glad you guys had fun. We listened to it back. And so you guys could obviously tell that the audio, like, the environment we were in did not make for good audio whatsoever. But then we listened to that stream back in this, like, on the laptop speakers in that space. And then, the, like, I swear, every lot, like, first thing we said, we were all, like, cringing, like, ah! We haven't heard had the audio, but well, we haven't seen audio this bad since my debut. Wait, you streamed yesterday over on Sheila's channel. We had a collaboration on Sheila's channel. We were packing some stuff. Um, the audio wasn't that bad. It might have been worse. It might have been worse for us considering what and where we were listening to it. I haven't watched the stream back since getting home. Uh, maybe tonight if I have time. But like, <laughs> from booming against the high ceilings and i was like concrete oh it was not good chad butters thank you for five dollars no pride what did you do exactly build a defense force out i think it was actually leah dockies because <laughs> it was the nearest box to the door so it was like a barricade um andrew b you i thought you were the cooties we kind of were yeah 
Yeah, thank you, Leah, for contributing to our mission of keeping this earth safe and Sakuna out of his warehouse. <laughs> Don't use my body. I mean, haven't I already used it enough? <laughs> well, we believe I'm you for five gifted memberships. But hey, wait, 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 Did you miss me? Come on! At least a little bit! Come on! Just a little bit! Maybe just a little bit! Come on, maybe! Yeah! Yeah! Go away! <laughs> Fine! 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 I'm going back to the... I'm going back to be with the star women of Phase Connect. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. Did you guys know that's a Pinocchio song? Do you guys know that's a Pinocchio song? I always thought it was Cinderella. I don't know, something about Cinderella just has star women to me. Um, maybe it's because she's blonde. Yes, yes, everybody knew. The minimum... Amount of missing stage. Thank you for saying we've been a amount of missing. Azora, meh, I missed you a little. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. How about a lot of it? How about did anyone miss me a lot of it? Yes, I thought that was common knowledge. Not to me. Not to me. How many star women? Lumi, Sheena, Jet. Well, okay, if you want to count up all the star women in Face Connect. Lumi, Sheena. Lumi and Sheena are the obvious one. But actually, the first star woman was the original Ashelia. And then Jelly is also kind of a star woman. And then Ember is also kind of a star woman because the sun, she punched it. Therefore, the sun is a star. Um, who else is a technical star woman? We have quite a few here. Seeker, thank you for $5. So if only pure blooded love bugs can go to the breeding pits, can you give us an emote for the pits? Yeah, sure, I'll draw it one day. Um, Inferno Saxon, thank you for being a member for months. We learned new things about you. Also, how could you fail to pack boxes properly? You had SOP and guidelines. It's time for mail phase repairment. First of all, you think there's an SOP? You think there's an SOP about warehouse? You really think there's an SOP for about warehouse? Hina is a moon priestess. Yeah, I think Hina counts as another one. JP. Surely, surely someone from JP has to be from the moon. I guess NASA. I think Nasa counts as a star woman. Star dragon woman, you know? There was a whole rarity guide when we purchased the gacha boxes and we had it open. And we had it open, but my, listen, my math is, my math was not mathing. You gotta put pink. You gotta put pink everywhere for my math to be mathing because that's a pink tax. That's how pink tax works. If you want girls to do math and you have to put pink on it, something like that, yeah. So, you know, there's just, um, Loki-sama as a heavenly goddess, does that count? I don't think Loki counts as a star woman. Not yet, at least. Maybe se second outfit, if she gets more star woman-like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Base Connect, a star woman-oriented coffee company. Should've been a star woman. I should've been a starfish. Have you seen all the, like, have you seen the vi videos of a fat... The fat Asian babies dressed up like starfish. Those things make my day. It's pear serotonin, pear serotonin injected right into my, right into my veins. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think so. You know how like people like to guess the different like, oh, what's the new gen going to look like? A safe bet, a safe bet in every gen will be a big titty star woman. Well, um, I guess Sheena doesn't have any titties. Maybe she just 
just lost them. You know, when she crashed, when she came crashing down onto Earth, they just burnt off her body. Like originally she was a very voluptuous woman. But as she came crashing down, they just started burning to the atmosphere like, ah! So she was just like, ah, my breath! They're flying off of me! And like to stop the fire from spreading, she had to just knife them. Not, nor jelly. Uh, jelly tits huge. Yeah, you guys just don't know it. Remember the kind of boobs? <laughs> I love making new jelly lore. It is my passion to create new jelly lore. Uh, here's real, honest, 100% confirmable truth. Jelly's breasts are actually the biggest in Face Connect, like the absolute largest. They just look smaller when there's more clothes on. And that's why they always look so small. But once you like, snip, 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 take everything off, huge. Absolutely massive. She's biting, yeah? She's biting, real lore, real lore. It's like an optical illusion, basically. Jerry, huge booba. Make it happen, artists. I'm begging. Jelly, boobs, asset. Coming this week. <laughs> Are you being forced to say this by Jelly? Honk a donk a donkas. No, no. I would make up lore for her just for fun. <laughs> Dizzy trust. Yeah, this is the one time you can absolutely trust me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What were we talking about before we started talking about the star women? Disney? Cinderella? Eggman. Thank you for the two dollars. How many boxes did you pack incorrectly? Twenty-two! It took us a while, but we counted to twenty-two boxes. Monkey, gambler, smoker, big booba. Yeah, she's living the dream. Does he like doing a silly little thing called lie? No! Me! I never. Lyra, thank you for two dollars and thank you for your tenth super chat on the stream. Jelly will not be happy about your lore drops. <laughs> Oh, that's good sparkling water. This stuff is my fucking lifeblood. I haven't had sparkling water for two days. I've had pedestrian water. Um, yeah, it does not hit the same. I feel so much more alive. Do you guys have a favorite sparkling water? Sparkling water, love. Sparkling water, love, 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 love. I sense the fan artist scrambling, Dizzy. Yes, yes, scramble, scramble to achieve a huge breast. Um, good segue. Uh, Pellegrino's pretty great. I have, okay, this, this is very, very poverty of me. I have Canada Dry Club Soda, which is basically sparkling water. What is in this? Let me read the ingredients. Carbonated water, potassium bicarbonate, potassium citrate. Okay, citrate, 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 citrate. Lemon, lemon woman. Ew, sparkling water, you don't like it, you don't like it. Extra Canadian. Yeah, it's pretty Canadian. I have a soda stream mixed with my own sparkling water. Ooh, I want to try that. White girl energy, no peasant water. It just... There is a flavor to water and sparkling water tastes better because it has the scent. The scent of a flavor, you know? I personally like LaCroix. I am a huge LaCroix fan. But LaCroix is not easily purchasable. By, by my means, so, you know. Pellegrino and LaCroix are overpriced. Hand me that Kroger. Ooh, I've never tried the Kroger one. The Kroger one probably is probably good, though. I genuinely think, like, store-branded, like, like, like no-name brand stuff is always pretty good. Is always, like, almost always solid. <laughs> Sorry. I, I cough sneezed. It was a combo of both. Um, Costco sparkling water hits. Ooh, I should get some. I should get some next time I'm at Costco. Bless you, bless you, Tas Tascaru. Why does everyone Tascaru after sneezing? Is sneezing that impressive that it deserves a Tascaru? Sparkling coffee? I'd try it. I'd try it if I knew where to get it. I don't know. I just. You know, it's that little bit of fizz that does it for me. A little bit of fizz. <laughs> girl sneezes are special. So every time a girl sneezes, like, does an angel get, get, get its wings or something? 
Uh, I'll find my Thelonious Brat. Wait, 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 wait. I missed so many supers. Am I not getting notifications? Bum, bum, bum. Um, RB Grizzly, thank you for $2. Lore has been spread from the Discord already. Fantastic. May Delaneous Rex, thank you for $2. No half measure either water or, or juice slash soda. I'm trying to cut back on sugar. I'm always trying to cut back on sugar though. Makoto, thank you for the two currency. Cute sneeze, Tuscaru. It was like not even a proper sneeze. It was a sneeze and a cough at the same time. Uh, 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 mm. Wow, did you really try to make your sneezes extra cute? See, Lama. Ho! Ho! You thought that was a fake sneeze? You should see my fake sneezes. Uh, okay. Lord dumping here. So. I went through a phase. I went through a phase. And, like. In like my first lifetime where I was like really self-conscious about sneezing around people for whatever reason because like you know sometimes you sneeze and you get a little bit like drippy I guess drippy for lack of a better word so I just like I didn't like it I didn't I didn't like it at all um a phase connect shut up that pot is dead um but yeah so Moist. Yeah, sneezes are moist. So, I taught myself this weird silent sneeze. So, the way it sounded, it'd be like a... Just a... Because I didn't want to make noises while sneezing. So, if you all talk about cutesy fake sneezes, it was that. It was that. I actually, like, verbally or audibly sneeze now. But back then, it was just like a... <laughs> like you're spitting does it sound like spitting but for real i think that's bad no i definitely think it probably screwed me over I, I, i'm pretty sure it was probably some sort of bad thing for me you trained yourself to do that yep a whole two years to two whole years stealth 99 yes thank you weird flex but okay <laughs> Um, yeah, that's one of my weird little history. Weird little history. Speaking of history, you want, you guys want to know what my hyper fixation as of lately has been? And by lately, I mean the last 48 hours. Do you know what Singer sewing machines are? Rome? No, Rome is so... Rome was so six months ago. Get with the times. Get with the program. Come on. Come on, chat. Um, hold on. I think my stream just froze. Uh, 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 oopsies. My mother has two Jesus, the ones from the 50s. They still make them. They still make them. Sing a brand. Yeah. So, okay. TLDR. TLDR. If the stream suddenly dies, by the way, my, my browser's just all froze. So Singer is this like, I don't know how this even came up. I guess we were talking about tech or something. So Singer makes sewing machines. But during the first and second world wars, they made something else. Yeah, someone said in the chat. So during 19, so during the second world war two, they made guns. They made guns, and their guns were so good. They made guns that were such good quality that the U.S. government decided they needed to make airplane machinery. So they also made, like, bomb sites? Which is just like, what? does a sewing machine and a bomb site have to do with each other? Like, what sort of advanced technology goes into a sewing machine that the government looked at this company and went, holy shit, this is the most mechanical, rev the most revolutionary mechanical, mechanical manufacturer in the world. We need them to make bomb sites. Precision. 
But I don't know. I just think it's a funny thing. I just think it's a funny little thing that Singer did. And I've just been like reading up on the history of Singer products and like Singer manufacture. I don't know. Um, I think Singer is very cool. I'm not actively looking for a sewing machine right now. I think I have one at my parents' place. I don't have to sew, even if it's been a couple years. But um, if I, for, for whatever reason, ever choose to retire and just had like a ton of free time where I decide, you know what? You know what, Dizzy? I'm gonna start, you're gonna start sewing again. Um, then yeah, I would love to have a singer because these things are obviously built to last. Obviously. Um, I need a General's Motor M1 rifle. Uh, 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 uh. So you're actively looking for their products? I, I, I'm just like actively looking up like things Singer does. It's just a fascinating little manufacturer for me. Uh, mm, 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 mm. My niece has a Barbie branded one that, that actually works. A sewing machine or a pistol? For America, both things could be true. Uh, manufacturers with factories engineer and engineering expertise turn to making tanks, plane parts, guns, etc. Ah, I didn't know that. No, thank you for five dollars. During World War II, the U.S. government just put contracts and companies would come in and pick them up. Singer picked up bomb sites themselves. God. God, I want to know. I want to know, like, the expert. The leading expert in that time of sewing machine manufacturing. Him going in, in, in and, like, picking up the contract and being like, This bomb site. I can make this bomb site better. I feel like that's exactly how it played out. I feel like that's exactly it. Hex says hexagon, thank you for five dollars. But guys that make washing machines, GE also make machine guns for planes. They do not make good washing machines. I think I think the first washing machine I had in this apartment was a GE. Maybe they should stick to making machine guns for planes. That's all I'm saying. Your quality has gone down. Yeah, evidently, evidently that that washing machine lasted me a total of maybe half a run. <laughs> Space, hi, thank you for the one ninety nine. Baraka Ola jukebox company made W World War Two rifles too. Ah, oh, that sounds kind of cool. That sounds kind of cool. Wait, I. Blah, blah, blah. I missed uh, Yuki Nagato's super chat. Third lifetime cottage core art about to begin. I can never be cottage core. I can never, ever, ever be cottage core. I don't have, like, I don't have a visual weight for it. Do you know what visual weight is? So a person can be like, girl time. So a person can be like high visual weight and low visual weight. And basically, like, how it works is a per person with low visual weight tends to have softer features um like like rounder eyes i guess fuller cheeks um less defined like probably a less prominent nose like less defined lips that kind of thing so that is the person with low visual weight and a high visual weight will have like sharper eyes or like more defined eyes maybe they have dark eyes right maybe they have Higher cheekbones. So aesthetic intensity, yes. Yes. Higher cheekbones, like it's more angular. So I just I feel like cottage core girls are best when they're lower visual weight and everything is very soft and like fuzzy and warm feeling. I feel like I visually am very cold. Maybe it's because I'm all blue. Maybe it's because I'm all blue, but I feel like I, I'm very visually cold. So I feel like cottage core does not suit me. Also, I don't think I've ever baked bread before. I think before you become cottage core, you have to bake bread. I feel like if I tried pulling off cottage core, I'd look like a hag or a witch in the forest. And sometimes witches in the forest are hot. You could be a witch in the forest and be hot. But you can't be a college core witch in the forest because when you're a witch from Hansel and Gretel and nobody like that witch, she's a bad witch. She's a bad witch. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you for super chat. All right, this bug time for me to go eat. Hope we can chat and have a fun time. Thank you. All right, close. Thank you for super chat. But GE jet engines are way better. 
Why can't a company provide good jet engines, but not good washing machines? Dizzy, but Baba Yaga. What about Baba Yaga? Uh, goblin court, Dizzy. Could you imagine if I was goblin courting? No, I'm an elf, silly. I'm totally an elf. Don't you trust me? My nice little elf ears? Don't I look elfish? Do you guys ever, like, think about how there used to be different species? Like, how there used to be different types of... Not... Not humans. Well, maybe it was humans. There were different types of people on this planet, like, as well as homo sapiens, monkey, yeah, monkey, Neanderthals, Neanderthals, and like another species of human that was like a dwarf, hominids, yeah, hominids, there were like Neanderthals, homo sapiens, and the dwarf people of China, or Southeast Asia, I don't know where the dwarf people were, I know it's generally in Asia, but they had dwarfs. Like, what if our history is actually just Lord of the Rings and we don't know it? I think about this all the time. The ancient Irish were these short little people. They became the basis of elves and dwarfs. Should that be the basis of leprechauns? I feel like that's a missed opportunity for leprechauns. Leprechauns could have been one of the top fantasy species if they just marketed themselves a little bit better. Leprechaun rights said here on this channel. Leprechaun rights. It's almost St. Patty's Day. It's almost St. Patty's Day. When's St. Patty's Day? Is it this weekend? It's this Sunday. I think Clara's doing a stream for that. I kind of want to see what she's doing. I don't know. Mmm. Do you guys like, um, why are they called shamrock shakes? I don't taste the mint in them. I really like, like, spearmint and, like, mint chocolate chip. I do not taste it in the shamrock shake. I think that is a vanilla, sh I think that is a vanilla milkshake with coloring. Also, is it true that shamrock shakes have no lactose in them and they're actually all oil? Shamrock is overrated. I like mint, but I don't taste it in those. Not a fan of mint. I don't like mint. Mint shakes with no shamrock. Ooh, what if they actually tasted like shamrock? What if they just mixed dirt in it? Ah, yes. I've got my nice dirt shake here. Mmm, delicious, delicious dirt shake. Ah, my dirt shake makes me so full and full of vigor. Something like that. <laughs> Does it what? I don't know. I, I, I think dirt is an acquired flavor. I think there's a Michelin star restaurant actually. There's a Michelin star restaurant out there that actually serves dirt to you. Then good man, thank you for five dollars. Elves, as we think of them, are from Germanic myth. The Irish had their own comparable legends with a Tuatha de Dan and try reading Conansters. Why do you guys know so much about about the Irish the Irish elves? Why do you know so much about the Irish elves? We season food food with dirt already, anyways. Not if you don't season your food. <laughs> Night protector of chubas, thank you for the $10. Clovers taste like apples. They're kind of nice. Ooh. Wait, do you think I could like just add that to my diet and then that would count as a vegetable? Because I can't have apples, but sometimes I miss the taste of apples. Men read folklore, women read yaoi. Oh my god, what if we release like folklore yaoi? Oh wait, that's Fate Stay Night. Sorry, sorry, I just described Fate Stay. My bad, my bad, everybody. I, uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I've ruined. I'm sorry that a whole generation of women have ruined Ku Kalein for you for the rest of forever. My bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> As a history and dryer fate is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, at least we're introducing history to... No, I can't even say that because there's better history. There's more accurate historical manga and anime.
I think they made Genghis Khan a giantess. Lamau. Oh my god, Genghis Khan is a giantess. Like, Khan Elf once used me Lucky Charms as bait. Thank you, Sven, for the super chat. What did you do with it? Did you take its pot of gold? Did you take its pot of gold? Girl Underpants are gang rise up. Yes, Girl Underpants are his completely accurate historical content, I believe. I believe, I believe in it. That's Blake, thank you for your $10. I must thank Head Connect Boxing Services. My order has been shipped. Also in Gosik, there's a village of small folk where, where Pepple, the main he heroine's mother, is from where they live in a fortress town. Ah, I vaguely remember Gosik. Um, and you're welcome. I hope you enjoy your packed box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where people like werewolves? Oh god, would that be fucking terrifying? Would that be terrifying? You have like, okay, imagine you have a family dog. You have a family dog. This dog has been in your family since you were a child. But every full moon, this dog of yours just becomes like, I don't know, depending on. But dogs race would like affect a person's race. So you have a beloved, beloved Chihuahua. You have a beloved Chihuahua. It's a very hardy Chihuahua. It's been with you since since you were young. It's adorable, the cutest Chihuahua in the world. But every full moon, it transforms into a bug-eyed Mexican man who loves Dragon Ball Z. Tenma? <laughs> hey. Tenma's Canadian. Ale, ale. I don't know. Chihuahuas are like one of those field dogs. Either you love them or hate them, number one. I think 80% of the population leans towards hate. But, but they are a fucking hardy species. They are a hardy species of dog. If there is a dog that is going to outlive human, it's the Chihuahua. And they can't even give birth by themselves. So it's like, how? How do they do this? But I'm telling you right now, the Chihuahua will outlive all. Canine cockroaches. Basically, basically, really hardy. Never like my, my extended family all have like dogs. One of them has a Chihuahua. That thing has never been sick. Never. It's, I, I think, oh, what, what age was I when they got, I think it's like over 10 years old and it's still fucking trucking. Like, something that small should not have a heart that hardy. That's all I'm saying. Hag dog love. I guess hag dog love. Well, I guess it's a... I guess it's a boy dog, so... Uncle dog love? What is the male equivalency of a hag? A sorcerer? But it's had sugs. Because it had puppies. A geezer! A geezer! Geezer dog love! Oh, Jason! Oh, Jason dog love! <laughs> a distinguished gentleman. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. Nice try. Pretty much all mutts are hardier than purebreds. I mean, I don't think chihuahua counts as a mutt. It might as well be. Since we've crossbred them with rats. Rats and bats. Rats and bats. Mm -hmm. Susie would keep a tiny dog in her handbag. I like big dogs. I like big dogs. I, I like German Shepherds. I like Dobermans. Uh, what else? I like Chow Chows. I like... What other dogs are there that I really like? I like Mastiffs. I like Mastiffs a lot. Um, would not own one. Would not own one. I don't have a space for it. Nor do I have like the time to care for that. Huskies? Huskies are really sad because people get them because they're like these beautiful dogs. 
but then the like um rate of which people ban the huskies is really high where i'm from so i i really feel for them and this isn't the climate for them either so unless you're like a good like you're good about taking care of your energy and you're good about brushing their coats like i it, it's don't do that to puppy don't do that to puppy Huskies need a lot more care and maintenance in many such cases. I used to have an Irish wolfhound. <gasps> that's so cool! Samoyas? Samoyas are like the smiling dogs. They always look happy. If you want to be around happy people, you get a mm -hmm. Pets are not toys. Mm -hmm. I'm a big Bernese mountain dog guy. They're so friendly. They're so friendly. They're so, so, so friendly. I, I have been thinking about a pet recently. I have been thinking about a pet recently because like... It'd be nice to have something to care for and baby god my head is coming out it'd be nice to have something to take care of and like keep me company and also like take out but it's like my lifestyle right now like my lifestyle is pretty ideal because i can be home most days to take care of a dog as well um but yeah yeah i don't know still thinking on it get a hamster get a hamster dizzy to do what with put it in a microwave i already have amy for that uh-oh, Dizzy's becoming a cat lady. I like the naked ones, but they're kind of more effort to take care of. How about houseplants or a garden? Not the same. It's not the same. Just take care of Moony. I put her to bed every night. I put her to bed every night. Dash hunts are pretty cool. They're so silly. They're so silly. I think I have a problem with dash hunts. Uh, okay, number one, I would not get a purebred dog ever. I, I, I don't think that's... I get why people want them or whatever, but like, I, I, it's not an option for me. Um, uh, my pet flies love you, love me? No! No! Yeah, get a rescue. I would probably get a rescue or maybe like a farm dog or something. Just, just like, I want something hardy that can like walk with me or like run with me. Um, but yeah, I think like, where I live, it's better to get like a lap dog, but like, like I don't know what's a good lap dog, a Shih Tzu or something. But also, it's just like my lifestyle and where I live don't they don't mesh well. So I, if I get a dog, it's either one dog that does well in the environment or one dog that does well in my lifestyle. Something's got to give there. Uh, probably my lifestyle. Dizzy, your language. Bark, 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 bark. Shiba? Shiba's are hard to train. I, I I don't recommend Shiba's to anyone that's a first time owner. Um, Labrador? Oh, I don't know if I have room. But yeah, I have a Cavalier Spaniel. Bought him for his temperament around young children ever still sporty. Spaniels are so pretty. They're such pretty dogs. Catalin, thank you for a super chat. I got to ride a Tibetan Mastiff when I was a kid. I don't remember much, but my mom said I cried and fell on my head when the Mastiff was running crazy. That's so cute. <laughs> That's such a cute story. Um, my GSD is European. She requires so much exercise. Take her out. Take her out right now. She wants walkies. She wants walkies. Thank you, Nora Eclipse, for a 1.99. But yeah. Yeah, that's... How did we get on Pet Talk, even? How did we get on Pet Talk? She has crabs. She has crabs. I think I think Lumi has a cat or his cat sitting right now, something like that. Um Border Collies in Australia and Shepherds are great dogs too. They're very smart dogs. They're very smart dogs. I don't mind stupid animals. I think stupid animals are kind of cute. But number one, I want them to be healthy. And number one, I want them to be healthy and I want to be able to provide for them a good quality of life. Mm -hmm. My Jack Rats Russell Shih Tzu mix is a great competitor. You have a Jack Russell Shih Tzu? I've never seen that mix in my life. Hold on, I want to, I want to look this up. Jack Russell Shih Tzu. Oh, this is such a shaggy boy. That's such a shaggy boy. <laughs> Stupid owls are great until they do stupid things. Yeah, train them and take responsibility. You know dogs? They don't like... Have... The ability to feel guilt. Dogs don't have an ability for guilt. 
So when you like shame them, they can only feel sadness. They don't understand what they did wrong. They only feel really sad. Your feelings just get hurt because you're mad at them. It's really sad, actually. This man, I think you were about to which face girls would be in the Justice League and who's who. Oh, this is such a good question. This is such a good question. Oh my god. Nora Eclipse, thank you for 199. Uh, we just returned from a two hour jog. I'm good. Ah, good job on the two hour jog. Koneka Rift, thank you for $10. Love my Great Dane, one of the best ones I own, right? <gasps> you have a Great Dane? I love Great Danes! They're so big and they're really, they're really good guard dogs. They're really good guard dogs. I don't know, I like big dogs because usually I feel like their temperament is so silly, goofy, funny. They're so like... <laughs> They have a short life expectancy, but yeah, that's sad. But that's why you give them, you give them the best life you can. But like, <laughs> she likes big dogs. So she cannot lie. The brothers, other brothers can't deny. <laughs> but when our king Corso comes in with an, <laughs> with an itty bitty face and a big fat was <laughs> yeah. You get oh, look at my William Bobby. You get oh. <laughs> Millennial, please shut up, shut up. <laughs> and for those socks, I can add you on Twitter with a phone. Yeah, at me. I'll take take a look. I'll take a look. Okay, switching topics. Switching topics. If you raise the dog from a puppy with you, they will always think they are a lap dog. This is true. But switching topics real fast into Justice League talk. Okay. Justice League. Justice League. Like, which Justice League are we talking? Like, which, which JLA are we talking about this? Because who's who? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is such a big question. Ivy Grizzly, thank you for over two dollars. My shorts are Pyrenees, Mountain Dogs are Shepherds. Shepherds are really great. Shepherds are really great. Um, James J. Jameson, thank you for the super chat. Dizzy, can we add you with pictures of our pets? I want to show you pictures of my dogs. Yeah, of course. You can always add me with pictures of your pets, or you can drop them in the in the Discord because I do browse that. Uh, my dog is a mystery. My, more to love, more to love, because there's probably only like five, depending on the size of his litter like five or six of him in existence so he's special so he's your special dog <laughs> mm -hmm. uh comic tv show oh so like justice league as in the early 2000s series okay so who's batman who would be batman they wouldn't <sighs> that's hard right. i don't think anyone's batman i don't think we have a batman who would be the Wonder Woman? I feel like Erica would be Wonder Woman, like equal parts strong, but also clueless to the mortal world. That sounds like Erica to me. <laughs> um, Absolute Legend. Hi, hi, Dizzy. I hope you've recovered from working in the where warehouse. Could you say har 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 har? Wait, har 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 har. How many har's is that? Har 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 har. Money, 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 money. Hi, 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 hi. Money, 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 money. What about one more take? But as Jojo. Har, 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 har. Money, 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 money. Were any of those good? <laughs> Seeker, thank you for two dogs. Might be boring, but I love labs quite a lot. I think that's fair. Very natural companion dog, right? So, very popular. Very popular for a reason. Pip Punisher! Oh gosh. Pip has Punisher? <laughs> she would want to be Zatanna. I think all girls go for a phase. Any girl who's into DC Comics goes for a phase where they want to be Zatanna Zartara so bad. Um, dizzy out of 10. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. I have a corgi, cute little turds. I got fat butt. Yep, that was. Erica's not Zatanna. Erica is Wonder Woman. She has all the innocence of Wonder Woman. Probably has the strength. You know, it just makes sense. Erica is Wonder Woman. Um, who else? What else? 
Uh, let's see, Green Lantern. Who would make a good architect? Who would have military experience, make an excellent architecture, has has the same morals of a Green Lantern core? Yeah, Ember? Ember as an architect. <laughs> oh, Disney as a Joker? Hey, I'm not a villain. Entirely. So, as far as thank you for pop dogs, my parents have an English setter. He's still young, so he's super energetic, but he's super sweet. Wouldn't trade him for the world. Ah, uh, English setter. Oh, this looks like a smart boy. These look like smart boy. Who plays the most Sims? God, I played a lot of Sims growing up. I played a lot of Sims. But I played it in like a perfectly pedestrian way. Like I didn't do any of that stuff where like I left them to drown in a drown in a pool. I like made little little like Sims family and I wrote out little lores from a Sim family. And then like I had some of my Sims go to college because I had a college expansion. And then at college, maybe at college that's when things got a little weird because I'd be like. Yeah, okay. This guy gets into college. He's failing his first term. Um, but he meets a girl. Um, and then she gets him addicted to partying. And then his life goes to trash. Things like that. I got weird bear. <laughs> Disney Dark Sea, no. Who are Batman and Robin of face? Which Robin are we talking about? Which Robin are we talking about? Uh, Jelly for Jason Todd. Jelly for Jason Todd Red Hood. <laughs> Tim Drake, the best Robin. The best boy. Disney is Martian Manhunter. I came to Earth to warn you of an invasion. <laughs> Something like that. Jelly Todd. Jelly Todd, that's so good. Jelly Todd is so good. Jelly Hood! Oh no, but jokes are writing themselves. Cla Clara's jail a huntress. Yeah, I could I will take Clara's huntress. I'll take Clara's huntress. I think Dizzy might be Bane. <laughs> I was born in the darkness! I can't do Bane. I can't do Bane. That sounded like I don't know, that sounded like some sort of weird, like weird garbage monster. Or Cookie Monster. I sound like Cookie Monster. I sounded more like Cookie Monster. She sounded like a big guy. That was pretty good, actually. If Jelly is Jason Todd, but Dizzy is Joker. Uh oh. Hey, I'm not the Joker. I'm not the Joker. I did not have a uh, why so serious face. Oh my god. Growing up, growing up, Bear was fucking. Oh, it was awful. Everyone in high school was saying that for a while. I was just like, you don't even read comics. You don't even read comics. It's like the fucking Batman movies were playing in theater or whatever. Oh my god. I was. I lost my shit. I lost my absolute shit. Taurus. Pedestrians. Pedestrian. Apache, thank you for five dollars. JLU question was a paranoid shut in conspiracy theorist. Doesn't that remind you of a certain pink wabbit? You're onto something. You might be onto something. <laughs> Dating yourself there, Disney. Tema is Hawkwoman. I would not assign anyone as Hawkwoman because I feel like assigning someone as Hawkwoman is straight up violence. Okay? It's like that one Fairly Odd Parents show. There are no Hawkwoman fans. There's truly no Hawkwoman fans. And she's kind of miserable. She's kind of a miserable fucking bitch in the, in the, in the cartoons. I think in the cartoon, they improve most characters' personalities. But my god. God, is Hawkwoman a miserable fucking bitch. 
honk woman. Honk honk! Yeah, who would I, who would I, like, assign as honk woman? I don't know, my fucking... My worst nemesis? So I have, like... I don't know, the phase official chat. The phase official channel is Hawk Woman. That fucking bitch. Laughing me in subs again. <laughs> Fuck her. Fuck her. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is the same, the same thing. Samantha is Hawk Woman. Who's Samantha? I don't know. Amy has Flash, maybe? Flash is... Hmm. The most truly good and righteous of us all. Who is the most truly good and righteous of us all? Person I trust mo most to deal with, with actual, like, legal and stuff. And, and, and to be a hero within rules. That's a hard one. Rie, Rooney, these guesses are bad. These guesses are point blank bad. Maybe like... Mm. Irie? Maybe Irie? Maybe Irie? Yeah, maybe like Eori too. Irie or yeah, let's go with Irie for that one. Irie sure. Irie sure. I think that's a fair one. Dizzy would be Nightwing side check. Unfortunately, I'm not ginger. Unfortunately, I'm not ginger and Nightwing only only sleeps with gingers at this point. So uh <laughs> I'm good. So I'm good. Kinda has a type. He kinda has a type. Yuri is sus. Yuri is only sussy sometimes. Uh, Alyssa asks, does phase girls fit the villains or the Suicide Squad? Dude! Suicide Squad, like, gives me migraines. It actually gives me migraines. Because I get why they keep trying to make it a thing. They've been trying to make Suicide Squad a thing since 2012. Because for like, I get it. Oh, an edgy, an edgy hero team made up of villains that have to be on this team and dedicate their lives to almost killing themselves um, for whatever reason. Yeah, cool, awesome. I get it, that, that whole concept was super appealing to me when I was younger, okay? But, the execution. The execution in the last decade for Suicide Squad has not been good. The new game is terrible. Every movie, even if you like it, is questionable. Even if you like it, you know for a fact, you know for a fact that liking Suicide Squad is questionable. They really should stop. What about Green Arrow or Black Canaria phase? <sighs> Green Arrow and Black Canaria are both such great characters. I really like those characters. And they do a lot with not much. <laughs> Without having like... Well, honestly, Green Arrow and like... Batman are kind of mirrors, but you know. You're a DC fan. I don't know. I like it. I like it. I wouldn't say I'm hardcore or anything. Definitely when I was younger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did we just talk about comic book? Guys, I haven't talked about Trip at all. I haven't talked about hanging out with Shida and Lumi at all. I've just been talking about dogs, DC Comics, Disney, and whatever the fuck else. Who's the booster gold of phase? Dizzy Doko. Dizzy Doko for booster gold! Pops my collar. Average Dizzy Dork rant. <laughs> oh yeah, sewing machines. We've also talked about sewing machines. Tripsy were gone. Well, I wasn't gone. People were coming. People were here. People were here. People came to visit. Sorry, tell us about your trip. 
Well, I'm glad you asked. I don't know. I, 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 uh, um, I've met Sheena and Lumi in person before. Uh, it's been a while, I guess, since I last saw Lumi. I saw Sheena pretty recently. Um, they looked the same. <laughs> they look the same. They they look as if I remember them looking. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I really wish I had more juicy gossip for you guys other than that. But they look the same. Uh, I think Lumi was wearing a different hat than the hat I saw her in last time. Suspicious, suspicious. Um, but I guess it does make sense that Lumi would own multiple hats. I also own multiple hats. Kua, Sheena was not wearing a hat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We met up, that's a, basically the story. Oh, you know what? I have kind of, I kind of have like an inter- I don't know if it's interesting. It's interesting to me. So, okay. Lumi obviously had a stream before she came to meet up with us. So while we were waiting for her, me and Sheena, we went into this, uh, do you guys know what Daiso is? It's basically a Japanese dollar store, but nothing is really a dollar, and that's okay because everything is still cute and good and, and affordable for the price. But we went into a Daiso, and I haven't been to a Daiso in, like, a long time. I, like, browse their, like, social media or website or whatever, but this is the first time I've been properly in a Daiso in a bit. That's completely different from how I remember it, okay? Um... But since I last visited Daiso, they added a double-sided sticker wall. A double-sided sticker wall. Very neat. Yes! Yes, I know your shock. Wall-to-wall -wall stickers. So we went in there, right? And it's just like pure girl euphoria. So like imagine me and Sheena going up to this giant double-sided sticker wall. And we're pretty much, we're, we're both wearing like pretty baggy sweaters uh, in one form or another. So we kind of look like children in adult clothing, which is to say three midgets in a trench coat. But I guess this would be two midgets in a trench coat because we are missing our third. Um, or two midgets in two different trench coats to be more precise. But the point is, the point is, we did not look like full-grown adults in the face of this giant double-sided sticker wall. So we just kept staring at it and touching the cute stickers and chanting to ourselves, Girl Euphoria, Girl Euphoria, Girl Euphoria. And I think the anecdote went haywire. Yeah, yeah, I tried my best. But I think Sheena and I have very different... I just... I just like... Like 10... I think Sheena and me had like very different sticker stacks because I kept pointing at stickers and being like, oh, this sticker is cute. And she'd like be lying to like these weird creature like stickers. Like, I don't know. I don't think I have very standard or normal ideas of what is cute or not. But I, I would like to think that my taste in stickers was a lot more normal than hers. Yes. Tongue issues, very tongue issues. And my employees kept asking me to just stop. Definitely some people that were in our area, like around us, may have walked away from us. But girl euphoria, girl euphoria, girl euphoria. So yeah, that's my... <laughs> Define normal? I was like pointing at like pandas and stuff. Because I was like, panda, look at this panda sticker. Or like, look at these sea animal stickers. Aren't they cute? By the way, Steam Spring Sale starts tomorrow if you're looking to stock up. Oh, I should, I should. I have to do my taxes, guys. I still have to file for taxes. Remember to do yours as well, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what other, like, cute girly anecdotes do we have? I don't know. Um, I'll probably tell you guys more about it. I don't wanna, like, I don't wanna steal anyone's thunder or, any or anything. Um... Hmm. I almost had a thought and then it's gone. We've got another month to do taxes plenty of time. Yeah, that's why I keep telling myself. Just don't pay taxes. Easy. Easy. Do you know? There's like... 
There's like um a literal a literal place in in the US. It's like dry, barren land, and they like built a little dangerous city there, and it, it's literally a free land. Like, the people there don't pay for the land, they just set up a tent or whatever. Mm, apparently, there's a lot of crime there. But, Slap City, yeah! Slap City, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, Slap City, I don't know. I, I like saw it when I was like scrolling on my phone one time. It is so scary looking. It's really scary looking. Yeah. Slab City, also called the Slabs, is an unincorporated, off-the-grid alternative lifestyle community consisting largely largely of snowbirds in the Salton Trail area of a snoring desert in the Imperial County, California. That is such a sentence. It took its name from concrete slabs that remained after World War II Marine Corps Camp Dunlap training camp was torn down. Slab City is known for attracting people who want to live outside mainstream society. Now, I don't want to see any VTubers moving up there. So if you're watching that, please don't. Actual Fallout lore? Ah. Do they have internet? I don't think so. I think you'd probably have to drive to the nearest city, but I think the nearest city probably doesn't want to deal with people coming from Slab City. There are areas in Death Valley that are open to squatting home saying, ah, we should start Hag City. Hag City is a incorporated, on the ground, alternative lifestyle community consisting largely of 30 plus year old women. <laughs> Something like that. Don't they have old folks home? Hey, I don't need one yet. I don't even need one. Yeah, yeah, Lumi and Clara did already start up a hag farm. That's true, that's true. That's true. Oh, Memory! Memory, thank you for the raid! Thank you for the raid, Memory. Wait, let me... Hold on, this is my moment. This is my moment. Let me pull up... Let me pull up the, the Japanese compl compliments I've been learning. Let me pull them up. Hold on. Hold it. Hold on. I can do this. I can do this. Compliments. Okay. Memory. Kimi ga inai to boku no sakai wa monokuro ni naru. That was really bad. Uh, Hoshi ga kagayaku yoru yori mo kimi no hitomi no hou ga zutto utsukushi. Thank you, memory parade! <laughs> Very American accent. I'm so embarrassed now. I'm so embarrassed. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh. This is bad, dad. <laughs> Dizzy is now banned from Japan. You bring great shame to my family. No, no. She's not responding. It's over for me. It's over. I've lost the, I've lost the cool senpai status. I'm now 100% dork. 100% nerd loser geek. Shame. Shame on me. Shame on me. And Barrel Sacks are paying you for $2. 1-800. Adopt a hag. Bring hags to good homes. <laughs> is this my forever home? You guys think FaZe is my forever home? The most American Japanese you'd think you'd hear from a blonde Kagai woman in an anime. <laughs> Stop! Wait, you think I could voice act in an anime as a blonde Kagai woman? Nice dice rail, thank you for $4.99. Hey Dizzy, is Lumi cute in person? Does she smell like lemons? Does she have any lizard-like tendencies? <sighs> I've been waiting for this. Uh, Lumi is... 
Lumi as a woman is built like a Russian bear. Um, she is six foot five. Um, and I wouldn't say that she's a big girl, but she is very hardy. She is very hardy. Yes. Uh, like if, if you try to push Lumi down, she would not budge. Her, her legs look like strong tree tree stumps that have taken root into the earth. Um, and also, uh, I would say that her scent resembles um, something between the blood of her enemies, um, actual iron, just steel pipes, just pipes on pipes on pipes. And, um, you know, I, I guess there would be a bit of a citrus note there. Um, yeah. Yeah, built to fight. She's built to fight. Kind of hot, I kind of hot. <laughs> so she smells like paint thinner. That might be the perfect description for it. Correct. Correct. This is 100% trustworthy factual information about what Lumi looks like. You're welcome. I will now watch Lumi. I'm glad you found someone else to watch. I'm glad, I'm glad I can introduce you to more face girls. Excellent, thank you for five dollars. So what you're saying is she's unstoppable and all loss is, all hope is lost. Ha! Ha! You think Miss, Miss Kanaka Lumi was ever going to be stopped? You think she hasn't just been playing with us for years? Huh! This is but a child's game for Miss Kanaka Lumi. Miss Kanaka Lumi moves mountains. From the time Miss Kanaka Lumi was born, she chewed and ate rock and stone. Miss Kanaka Lumi fights not only bears, but tigers and hybrid creatures that resemble both bear and tiger. <laughs> Matt Sanager, thank you for $5. I already like Lumi, you don't have to convince me. <laughs> Valerian, $5, look like I found my new Oshie. No, no, I can chew rock and stone. I can fight both bear and tiger. Okay, I can take over her bodies. I can like crawl up her buttholes and like take over her bodies and make them do funny dances. That's basically the same thing, right? Ubi Halaya, thank you for over one ninety nine. But you said don't trust beautiful woman. Ah, ah. <laughs> Fister, thank you for over two dollars. Did you guys enact that hag pact yet? Whatever do you mean by that? What hag pack? I don't know which hag pack you're talking about, you silly willy walnut. James J. Jameson, thank you for five dollars. I posted a picture of my dog under an announcement tweet for this stream. Isn't he handsome? Let me go see. Handsome doggy? Handsome doggy. Doggy 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 uh, 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 bubble, 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 bubble. <laughs> you can't see his eyes. <laughs> you can't see his eyes. His hair is so fluffy. Thank you for the super chat, James. Um, Brandos, thank you for five dollars. Okay, you lost me there. Lumi can't even open the European doors. I find this lure hard to believe. Stop noticing things. Stop noticing things. Liquid Bismuth, Lumi is a big girl, dizzy dog girl. I never said that. I, I would say she's not exactly big. But she's hardy. Like, like wheat. Like wheat in field. Mm -hmm. Zero Defex, thank you for $2. And Dizzy, we trust. Dizzy, we trust. Trust, trust levels rising. Trust levels ever rising. <laughs> Big is good. Big is good. Architecture. But, stop touching your coworkers. I would if I could, but we're so needy. They're so clingy. I didn't even wanna... So we got like, um... The, the, where we are staying, there are two beds. But Lumi wanted all of us to go cuddle in one bed together. Lumi wanted all of us to go cuddle, so I had to like, 
go through the motions of cuddling in one bed. I just had to like lay there stiff as a board as they had their way with me. Um, for like two or three hours until they fell asleep. And then I had to sneak out of bed and skillfully, skillfully escape their embrace so I can crawl into the other bed and finally sleep. It was awful. It was truly hard times. <laughs> Just awful. So hard. So, so hard. So hard. I miss Dizzy. Ooh, ooh. We got to miss me more. Because uh, I'm about to end stream. <laughs> I'm about to just finish up streaming here. I'm still a little tired, so I'm gonna... I have some work to do. Um, I put off two days of work to hang out with Lumi and Sheena. So I'm gonna go... Oh, guys, don't cry! Don't cry! Sad girl, cuddle puddle. Sad girl, cuddle puddle. Don't cry! No crying! I'm supposed to be the one crying. I have to go catch up on work, guys. I put up off two days of work. I put off two days of work, so I have to catch up. But hopefully after that, I can get, I can finally catch some some sleep. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. They just keep me up. They just keep me up. They just force me to cut off for the night. I'm so drained. Oh, my goo, my goo is gone. Sheena, Sheena just kept one feet on my goo. Oh, I can't do anything about my goo. Oh, God, it's my goo. Valeria, thank you for $2. Thank you for bare minimum. And thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for being so warm with me coming back. Um, I'm going to try and gorilla tomorrow. But, oh, God. I, I actually have so much I'm going to catch up on. But if not, if I can't get a gorilla out, there will be a video this week. Um, love you guys lots. I missed you. Okay, bye!